Well, I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get like three bars in here in this venue. John it's because John steals all the, all the internet. He's got all the bandwidth. Call him, call him uh, bandwidth numbers. True. All right, we've got our fist bump. We fit trainer Falco coming up. I have to imagine that we are starting on small battlefield. And it is Xeno. You are going to be right for us as we're getting right on into the Xenoblade music. Absolute banger to start it off. And you know, this matchup, as explosive as we're used to seeing till they be, is going to be a lot of slow stage positioning and, and explosive advantage stage from Tildo. And ideally from both players, a lot of quick edge cards. These two are characters that can, can and will go off stage for you and take you, you down to that bottom blast zone like nobody's business. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's just kind of the numbers effect is... Sometimes it can just not be advised to edge guard John numbers at all, but already Tilde shown out with those long lasting multi hit hitboxes, giving him the space that he needs at ledge. Uh, all right, starting off though, Tilde with a bit of a percent deficit, looking for a spike, but numbers with the weave. And just now Tilde carrying coast to coast, looking to continue an advantage save, but John with a quick reversal. To get things around, going off a little too deep though, and forcing himself into disadvantage. This corner situation could be huge for Tilde, but not able to get too much. Just had an opportunity for a kill confirm, but wasn't able to close out the first or the second time. Maybe third time's the charm here, Force? Maybe. We're already seeing a lot of adaptations coming out from Tilde. A lot of, you know, just staying at that mid range, that sort of shine range at the ledge. But John catching some sort of option out of shield, it looked like. I don't think that was a poke. It was not a poke, but that was a really cheeky little shield pressure off and using the reverse hit of F-Tilt to clip just the edge of the shield, make it a little bit safer. Tilde, though, gonna get a trade found, so not able to find the conversion he was looking for, but the back air on the whiff to F-Smash, you might salute the sun seven days a week, but my friend, it's only overcast today. A very cheeky up smash attempt from John. Gonna be putting Tilde now in even stocks. Definitely not like John to kind of just give away stocks like that. No, but it happens to the best of us, and a player of Tilde's caliber is going to be someone to make you swing at ghosts, right? Mm -hmm. I, we're seeing it affect even the, the great John numbers here, here in game number one, but this is a best of five, right? This game has implications, but not necessarily any lasting ones. ones. It's the perfect opportunity to get the download on your opponent, and you can see that, right? These two jumping in, jumping out, keeping that distance, playing it nice and slow here with only four and a half minutes left on the clock. They are trying to get a read on each other's habits. Ooh, and right there, John finding a read on the neutral get up there from Tilde, getting a good amount of sun salutation damage. Uh, Tilde, unfortunately, not able to follow up from that down air, and we are back into neutral as John finds his space underneath that small battlefield platform. I guess it's arm day. Uh, yeah. We gotta get the push ups in. So funny. You gotta get the push ups in. <laughs> you gotta get them in. Imagine one of those big beefy shoulders. Imagine like this mannequin woman like just moving at you like that in real life. Uh, you know that just sounds like a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> All right, John fighting his way out of the corner with the dash attack and popping potentially popping Tilde up with the sun sal, but Tilde able to make it back into center stage. Let's see I, now. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I. Aww, uh, that was a little bit cheeky and a half. The reverse hitbox on the neutral are gonna send numbers off stage. Tilde then able to clean up the edge guard with just how much height you can get off the vertical space from that jump. And beautiful stuff from both players so far. Numbers gonna answer right back, right back to an even game, my friend. And just like that, last off situation. Yeah, deep breathing coming in clutch for John. That is the Kaioken for Wefit Trainer. So we see right now deep breathing back online, and you see John is looking for that landing neutral air starter. That's the party starter right there. And I mean, it's a party start. It's the party starter for Falco too, right? A lot of the time, as Tilde gets a early advantage state here, John now not able to find the one of his own, trying to fight his way out from under platform. And I love these point blank reflectors from Tilde. Hey, they've been absolutely gorgeous. Right now, though, he has no opportunity to even pull them out because he's getting juggled and trapped under these platforms. They're able to fast fall through them. Nice little mix, though, and force numbers into the corner once again. Another thing to note about uh, deep breathing in this matchup is because it very slightly uh, decreases your knockback just by virtue of 
giving you less damage. That is going to change the combo routes for Falco. And Tilde's going to have... Though. Yeah. Not that much. Tilde's going to have to adapt on the fly, but he's he's doing it pretty well so far as he takes game one. You know, I mean, there's few people I'd want to adapt on the fly more than a fighter pilot who is a literal bird. There, are, there might not be anybody <laughs> in Smash Bros. with more experience adapting on the fly in all intended forms of, in all intended meanings of the word fly than Falco. That's so true. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> All right, we're coming in on game two, coming right back into small battlefield. Would expect nothing less from John Numbers. All right, deep breathing now online already. John just kind of trying to threaten a little bit with these projectiles, just get these little chip damages, but they are already adding up. And I love these fade back forwarders from Tilde. He's doing them not just because, not just because it's a great combo starter, it leads to the down tilt loops, but also because, well, it's safe on shield. It's a great non-committal way for him to suss out numbers, pressure, and find advantage states just like this one. Able oh, to get something going there is briefly reset, but the numbers gets a little over aggressive, and it's gonna allow Tilde yet another lit corner situation. And yeah, I can't speak to that. <laughs> We're just speechless in in the face of this gameplay right now. As Tilde once again putting John off stage. I love the extensions there with the lasers. Just Get that deep breathing timer down just a little bit more so that John's not able to find any of these huge pickups. And the spacing from both these players on shield to like, mm, throwing out moves that aren't traditionally safe on shield, but with the perfect spacing can be just enough. And doing it there back forth, back forth until it's finally Tilda who finds the advantage take for a brief second, but Numbers fighting his way out of the corner and managing to take the first stock for his troubles. Well, hasn't been able to build too much of an advantage. This extra credit scenario could be the uh, the perfect chance for him to get back in this set. Yeah, and finally, that sort of setup working for numbers. We've seen Tilde get out of a lot of these like sort of projectile strike mix-ups from John as he you know sets up a soccer ball or runs forward. We've been seeing him get out a lot of that with the shine. But right there, finally, the sun salutation feint able to take Tilde's first stop. And Tilde there with that dash down until it looks like he might have been trying to maybe doubt crouch ledge slip there into a down air, but just couldn't quite find the timing. Beautiful save field pressure again with that forward air we were talking about from before. Tilde is a master of that move. And the down tilt finally, speaking of safe buttons, gonna close it out. Mm hmm Yep, at that high percent, absolutely gonna be taking the stock, but finally John finding that deep breathing neutral air, but not able to capitalize on it too much. But already, these percents are getting pretty high. Already, it's just still looking like extra credit for John. Beautiful DI mix up there from numbers and use of all of the tools in his kit to get the air stall. Force Tilde to second guess these juggle attempts. Nice little shield wiggle there from Tilde to kind of make it ambiguous for numbers. Try and force him not to go for a move he might think is safe on shield. Keep the pressure going. However, Tilde just really has been stopped dead in his tracks a second thought this could be his opportunity here with numbers at the corner ha or to steal something back early here of course yeah a lot of you know just barely holding on as uh john coming back from that spike and just barely avoiding that reflected sun cell great tech from tilde he's making it back onto center stage and continuing this potential ledge trap yeah that was one that was a nice tech from tilde but only after he messed up the down air Er, er, there is give and take in this game, but that was Tilde's opportunity to get an easy way back to, the, to a lead in this game. However, he still has it, and even in the uh, beautiful edge guard off the side, gonna do just that force. Tilde might have been down, but he is certainly not out. Comes rearing back, and just like that, now has a lead and the closing moments of this game, too. Just burning all of John's resources as he's not able to make it back, but unfortunately, a, neither he, is Tilde. I mean, let's be real, though. I respect Tilde for going that for that because if he hits that down air, the whole game's over at 30%. Oh yeah. Right? He was he just knows that you cannot give numbers these opportunities. He is forcing him into playing off stage more than we fit would like, which is crazy to think about, right? Because we wants to be playing off stage. He wants to be playing here in these corners. But Tilde's making John kinda 
uncomfortable in those situations. Yeah, and not even just a wee bit thing, but like typically you think of the space animals, you think like, okay, they're off stage. Probably one of the most uncomfortable parts of the, you know, of the character. He's dead. That's oh, it. Oh, he's dead. I, you know, till they, till they went for the sauce. Don't but forget to exhale when exerting yourself. Just kind of got a little bit lost. A it, little right? bit. He was he was going off for these edge guards left, right, and center, and this is such a clean idea. Goes for the downer. That would have closed it out. Out. If John doesn't tech this, he's dead. Till they, after that point, maybe thought he could still make it back. Mm -hmm. who, who knows? We're not entirely sure, but just put a little too many eggs in that basket, and you know if I'm. I'm gonna be honest, till they if if I'm if I'm a falcon, I'm putting my eggs in a nest, man. I don't <laughs> think a basket's quite safe enough. Yeah, you you wanna you wanna invest in that. All right, but we've got our game three coming up. John Numbers now on the board. Just taking a moment, John. Maybe looking at some notes and. <laughs> Tilde getting that energy drink in him. Hey man, you gotta you gotta keep those power levels high when you are fighting a player this caliber. And even for someone like Tilde, who has seen more national level success than John is, right? You see John Number staring on, on uh, across from you at this stream set up here at Zeno, and you start quaking. It it is his house. He this is his home field advantage. But right now, Tilde making it look like John is not feeling at home right now. Already 75%, and he is just looking so comfortable at this ledge. And speaking of comfort, Tilde looking a little uncomfortable. He's going for those field wiggles just to try and keep numbers guessing as to what his next option is going to be. Keep his movement a little bit more ambiguous. But you're not seeing Tilde do the pivot walk. Do a lot of the advanced movement tech that he does when he starts to really get comfortable. Well, you can see the amount of respect he's giving to John Numbers right here. And even though he's putting him in this cutscene combo, oh, he is far from letting his breath out right now. Oh, absolutely. All right, right now, he's gonna air dodge right back to that platform, keep himself a little bit more safe, but John able to find that pickup with the up tilt. And we're seeing a lot more of these sun salutation feints to try and get a rise out of Tilde, especially at that more point-blank range where he's not been able to pull out the shine. Yeah, the shine being frame one has so many upsides, but its end lag is not one of them, and down air just gonna miss on the tricky hurtbox shifting of Wii Fit Trainer, one of the characters' strengths by a mile. Gonna lose the stock for it, but answer right back, and Tilde now up a full stock to take counterpick advantage. This is one of the consequential moments in a best of five set. At one game apiece, who in that potential pivotal game five is gonna be one picking the stage? Who's gonna be one with the potential counterpick advantage? It, we've seen all small battlefield here so far for us, but that doesn't mean we're going to continue. Right now it's looking like Tilde is the one who wants that advantage, getting John to waste the air dodge there, but Tilde choosing to play a little bit more conservatively at the ledge, not going for any sort of down air or forward air. That was the wrong hurt box, uh, Ox Tilde. Looking for numbers, but only finding the soccer ball. Now the up air gonna just rack on some damage, put a juggle situation in. Numbers though gonna be able to reset the neutral just by doing the thing we all want to, but are scared to do, run away. All right, the Sun Salutation catching Tilde, getting a little bit aggressive from the platform, but this aggression continuing to pay out for Tilde. Catching John coming off of the platform and once again using these lasers to disrupt John's resource gathering at the ledge. What a cheeky little find there from Tilde. Using the forward air, knowing our hurt box shifts him horizontally, so he flattens out that vertical hurt box so significantly. Me and finding the short hop to get just above the header height. Look at this. It's beautiful. He gets above it, and it's because Numbers already had thrown out the soccer ball. If, if Numbers had waited and let the move activate automatically rather than throwing it sooner, it would have hit the soccer ball, and it would have tr traded out. Numbers wouldn't have died. Right. A beautiful little awareness there from Tilde to capitalize on the situation and seize the day. Absolutely. Coming right back into game four, though. We are right back on small battlefield, as is expected from John Numbers. 
Uh, until they trying to end it all right there, but very nearly got ended in turn. Numbers ending with not one, but two spikes, not able to capitalize either. And this is a full-on scramble in the air for this first stock. And the header spike is going to be taking first stock. I will say, I mean, I love watching Tilde's recoveries in this game. He's kind of the one who makes me believe that, yes, Falco can go off to challenge the fit trainer, but eventually it's going to come back to bite you. And I mean, listen, they, Falco, you know, Falco's a bird, but I don't know that with those metal legs he's still able to fly because he did not put those feet on the ground for that entire first stock, and it really did come back to bite him at the end of the day. Now, though, having Numbers in the corner, this is his potential opportunity to answer back, but Numbers is not slowing down. Having the potential to go up three stocks to one here, Tilde gonna be able to make it back just barely, as is Numbers, but not able to get anything extra. Tilde desperately trying to close out this stock. He cannot let Numbers go up three stocks to one, but he's going to do so. Can Tilde answer back, or are we going to a game five? I mean, John Numbers, just such a difficult player to pin down. He is gonna be finding that pick up there with the up tilt, but... I mean, John is really going to make you work hard to find those party starter type moves. And I mean, this is cer it's certainly possible for Falco, especially, right, to come back from this as a character very capable of putting you in the blender for 60, 80, 100%, even a stock if you're not careful. But a player who, like Numbers is so defensive, so fundamental, that you have to play absolutely perfect, and you're not even going to have the opportunity. Numbers just catching. Tilde there with the down smash. You don't see it a lot from Wii Fit because of how long the startup is compared to her other smash attacks. X. It doesn't have great startup, it doesn't have great end like, and it doesn't really kill sooner than any of her other smash attacks. But what it does do is get you real down low, and you know what they say with the limbo. How low can you go? Sometimes just a low profile is all you need, and the timing mix up plus the low profile is gonna be the perfect answer for numbers to close out the game number four, force the game five. And no counter pick advantage needed for Tilde because he's going right back to small battlefield. I mean, it's been working thus far in this set, but as we saw at the end of game four, John is starting to cash out on all of these downloads, all these little habits that you know you're forming throughout the throughout the set. John is going to be able to find those and just find things like down smash. And now the drag down combo just to get another loop, a little bit extra damage there at ledge. And there's not a whole lot more you can do maybe than look for a down air setup, but Numbers is not going to give him that DI. So oh, after Tilde racked on about 50%, Numbers able to answer back, call him out for being too cheeky, read the high recovery, and then just catch him on the platform for the stock. Beautiful stuff from Numbers, giving Tilde no openings because as you mentioned before, of course, this Numbers house, he wants to be the one sitting on winner's side. This is Game 5 Numbers, one of his most powerful forms right now, as he almost takes Tilde's second stock in such quick succession. And if you wa you're wondering why Xeno is always best of three, this is why. It would be too much to give Numbers the New York power, the Xeno power, and the best of five power up. But here we are today. No one man should hold all that power. And Tilde is trying to take that away from him right now with potentially another ledge guard situation. But the patience from Numbers keeping him safe, holding on to this first stock for dear life. Yeah, he does not want to die, that is for sure. Calling out every single one of, of these, these reflectors, too, of these shines. Beautiful stuff from him to find, continue to find his way. Hey, around losing this first stock. There is nothing left for Tilde to do, and it looks like he's running out of steam because he's about to go down three stocks to one again, unless he can close the stock out on, against numbers here. The legend is gonna miss the edge guard, clean it up, but... Woo, and Tilde popping off a little bit, trying to keep himself awake, keep himself alive, but he is now one stock away from being put down into loser's finals, while John still sitting pretty with two stocks and a deep breathing combo starter. And you do not want to have to win two sets in a row against John Numbers. The oh, only thing no. scarier than having to play five games against, games against John Numbers is to do it twice. Yeah. Game and 10 John Numbers? Or, <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if, if Numbers wins here, potentially game 15 John Numbers. That is a power scaling that you, you can only find in theory crafting. That's that's the theoretical Super Saiyan 5. Listen, the, <laughs> game 10 the, the theory might become reality here if Tilda isn't careful. He has an opportunity. He just needs to close this stock out. 
Oh, and then it is all in the hands of the bird, right? We are we mentioned earlier, bird is the word, and it's certainly possible for Tilde to find a quick stop, get an edge guard. We've seen him to do it so far tonight, but when back here isn't killing just yet, just a little too close to center stage, there's only so much you can do. He needs to clean this one up and fast. If he gets to 110, of course I'm gonna say this one's over. Yeah, and I mean, every single, you know, back air or thing that doesn't kill, that's just another opportunity for John to gather the resources, get deep breathing, get sun cell. And now you have to deal with John coming back from ledge again. But finally, the down tilt coming through, Tilde with a little dance in the chair, he's feeling himself. He can yeah. say, I'm going to grand finals. Yeah, shake out those deep, that deep, shake out that, shake out with, it out with those deep breaths, just like your Rocky. You know you might be the underdog here, but you are not out of it yet. Only 96% of your name, that might seem like a lot, but that's not kill per percent for we fit without a deep breathing. You are Falco, you're super capable, you just need to find an edge guard, you need to find an, a falling nair, a falling thing, or an air, an up tilt, right? All of these things lead to huge damage and as the blue bomber. You just need to close that out, you need to find that one answer. And you see Tilde, right, jumping back, playing very patient. This is a lot different than the aggressive play we often see from him because he knows he does not have the room to make these mistakes. That soccer ball was cheating right there, but Tilde able to make it out with his life. And like we were saying, only 70% difference. That's, you know, maybe a Falco combo and a half. I mean, you're at 40. That might just be one Falco combo. However, number's going to find the shield grab, something you don't see very much in Ultimate on Tilde, because of that soccer ball, the double jump going to get him out of dodge. Tilde has the opportunity, but just gets a little scared. Has to reset back to neutral. Now numbers with deep breathing. The sun salutation is going to go down. Um, Tilde's going to try to end this and where he's most comfortable off. And Edgar had the opportunity, but numbers not going to give it to him. Playing it very patient. Of course, I mean, we are entering the closing moments of this game, and it could be anybody's game. It really can. Just barely... John able to make it back out of that edge guarding sequence that really looked like the forward air of Tilde's dreams, but instead it's going to be the sun salutation and John moving on into winner's side grand final. And call him Dr. Dr. Otto Octavius because that man is holding the power of the sun in the palm, in of, the his palm hand. of his hand. Like, look at this. This is so smart from numbers. Recognizing how patient Tilda's playing. Empty hopping not once, not twice, but three times there just to bait out how patient he's playing in shield. Ill, Ill. Numbers is the epitome of... Yeah. Normally how you play around someone playing, right? Like, normally you play around aggression by playing patient. Numbers is like, I'm okay with you playing patient. I'm simply just going to play more patient. Oh, absolutely. John Numbers definitely one of the best in, like, whiff punishing, I think. Also, hi, John. Hi, John. 